welcome to episode number... <laughs> I don't know, here on the channel of Cursed Commercials. It's like five or six or something. How have I lost track already? I don't know. But for those of you who are unfamiliar with the format, we're gonna rate out of 10 how cursed each commercial is that we watch. Along with whatever bizarre reaction that we of course have. Let's begin. Après chaque rasage, le bon réflexe orangina pour rafraîchir la peau et adoucir son cuir. What the heck was that? It's like an aftershave for like <laughs> furries? <laughs> what is this product? Also, it's got like a bottle cap on it. This looks like something you would drink. Is this a beverage? Is this an aftershave product? I is it for furries? <laughs> I so many questions. Um uh, Pretty weird. That's gonna be like an eight. That's an eight out of ten. That was that was really weird. Get in the club at smileycentral.com. Smile go, 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 smiley. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck was that? I like this disclaimer right here. Smileys are free with download of toolbar. Yeah, this is like a freaking virus. Do not download this. Four out of ten, not very cursed, just very dated feeling. Kraken Gundam Star. Stop! Oh my god, it's a copyright attack! I repeat, this is not a drill! This is a copyright attack! Skip! Are you tired of messy sunscreen? Sick of that awful lotion odor? Do you want to smell like fried chicken? But you're just not hungry. Introducing the KFC Extra Crispy Sunscreen. Extra crispy. A real limited edition product that we are giving away for free. It works just like regular sunscreen, but it smells like fried chicken. <laughs> this is real? What? I'm a lot more popular now. I smell 10 years younger. Extra crispy. <sighs> Let's get a whiff of this stuff. Extra My Extra Crispy Sunscreen doesn't just keep you smelling great. It keeps you feeling delicious. Extra crispy delicious. KFC Extra Crispy Sunscreen. Extra crispy. It's real and also do not eat it. Smells like chicken, tastes like sunscreen. <laughs> Extra crispy sunscreen is a real sunscreen. Do not eat. Not redeemable for cash. Allow eight weeks for delivery via US mail. <laughs> this was real? What? That is some brilliant marketing. I'm gonna give that. I'm gonna give that like a six. That's pretty cursed, actually. So like, what is happening? Is this like a movie trailer for like something that barely passes as a movie? <laughs> what is this? There's like all these like copyrighted characters. There's Alien, Terminator, throwing like ninja stars and things. This looks like it was edited in like Windows Movie Maker or something. I like the part where the alien from Aliens punted that child. <laughs> Very interested in seeing that movie. That's pretty cursed. That, that's like a seven at least. It's like a seven. You tried these? Berries and cream starburst? Pardon me? What kind of starburst did you just say? Uh, berries and, and... Berries? Berries and what else? Pink! I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. <gasps> berries and cream! Berries and cream! Oh, I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream! I wonder what assortment of flavors are offered in the berries and cream starburst. Pretty cursed. I'm gonna give that one a pink out of 10. For over 100 years, we've been scrunching and folding toilet paper. Finally, there's a better way. Comfort wipe. 
the sanitary paper extension arm and holder. The first improvement to toilet paper as we know it since the 1880s. It extends your reach a full 18 inches while it follows the contours of your body and comfortably cleans. It's as easy to use as a shower brush. Just pop on the toilet tissue and when through, just press the release button and the tissue drops right into the toilet. You're skipping a whole step. Are you, do you use this to wipe your butt? Is that what this is? It's called comfort wipe, so I assume that's the point of this product, but they don't seem to want to like directly mention that that is what the product is for in the commercial. <laughs> Who's afraid of touching their own butt? Come on. Think about it. Toilet paper is really archaic and disgusting. The comfort wipe is a modern solution. That's right. Never touch another dirty toilet tissue. How is it the sanitary solution? I mean, sure, you can wash the rod afterwards, but like you can wash your hands too. I can't believe this is, this is real. Being a big guy certainly has its advantages and its disadvantages. This is a great product. This is, I'm, this is a real commercial. It feels like an SNL skit or something. This is, I can't believe this. It's embarrassing to have someone help you with your personal matters. The Comfort Wipe allows you to maintain your dignity while you maintain your personal hygiene. I could totally just see using this thing, maybe being a little too rough and like the toilet paper falls off. So like you end up with this like chocolate looking stick. This is becoming uncomfortable to explain. <laughs> So if you or someone you love suffers from the loss of range of motion, or if you're someone who just doesn't want to touch dirty toilet paper, don't be embarrassed, just get a comfort wipe. Order now and we'll send you the comfort wipe for just $19.99. $19.99 and you too can get this plastic wiping butt rod. Plus, we'll send you the Get a Grip. Just pay separate shipping and handling. It's the assist handle that installs in seconds. Getting in and out of the tub has never been more comfortable. <laughs> A prop telephone. You could probably actually use these products together. Use the get a grip to hold on to, to brace on when you're sticking this wiping butt rod um onto your onto your bottom. <laughs> that was pretty cursed. That's like a that's like a nine at least. Maybe not so much for the commercial, but the product itself is very cursed. Nine out of ten. Introducing the Neck Basket, a versatile, economically designed basket that you hang around your neck. The Neck Basket is there when you need it and out of the way when you don't. Okay, this cannot be real. This cannot be real. Okay, Neck Basket is trademarked. I'm gonna look this up. I'm gonna look it up. Is this actually trademarked? Oh my God, it's trademarked. <laughs> Now available in two convenient sizes. It's like an extra set of hands around your neck. Wow, that was bad. Wouldn't you like to tell them that? Now you can by becoming an online survey taker at bigspot.com. Okay, hold up. Time out. I am severely confused. This is now a commercial about a product feedback website. Okay, I didn't I didn't lie about that last part. Neck basket is something that is trademarked. So was this commercial still based on a product that was real? Neck basket, goods and services, providing a website that allows user to participate in discussions, give feedback to each other and engage in social networking. So this was something trademarked just to be used as a poor example of a product in this video. So it's not a real product, but it is a real trademark. Whoa. They really got me there for a second. Yeah, that obviously that neck basket, that should not be a real product. Part of me is kind of relieved, but part of me is also kind of still disappointed. What a twist. Uh, I'm gonna give that one like, like an eight. Wish the product was real, but at least it had me going for a moment. Eight out of 10. Welcome to my This can't be like an actual commercial. This is like somebody's YouTube video or something. Don't watch out for these water strips. Please, it's only water. Also, check out my other worlds. Yeah. Let's see what the fans have to say. I like the part where you uh, 
jump over things. The heck was that? That wasn't a commercial. That's like a clip from somebody's video. I don't know what that was. Do I even count that as part of the video? Do I rate that? I don't know how that got in here. What? <laughs> I don't know what that was. Now it's time for a stop and go story. Go, Maya. Oh my God! It's Arthur from PBS Kids! It's Arthur the Aardvark from PBS Kids! One day Buster and Arthur passed by an old fort and they heard something inside. But what could it be? So they pushed open the door and found Pinky sitting there covered in goo stuff! Is this actually happening? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good moment for that. Stop! I need your help to write the story. What was Pinky covered in and why? I need your help to write the story! What was Binky covered in? And why? Well, you guys heard her. Leave your answers in the comments. And uh, good luck trying to uh, get past the inappropriate YouTube comment filter. <coughs> PBS, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to like encourage kids to step into writing fan fiction? Like, what? <laughs> what is this? It's all up to you. Go to pbskidsgo.org and click on share for Stop and Go. You can decide what happens, and I can help if you want. Write your own Stop and Go story only at pbskidsgo.org. I cannot believe that was real. Incredible. That's a 10. 10 out of 10 cursed commercial right there. Well, that concludes another episode of Cursed Commercials. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. And uh, leave your uh, Arthur fan fiction stories in the comments below. And uh, don't forget, of course, to subscribe to the channel. Peace out.